Hi, Misha Gupta, and you're watching me on inyouth.com. Hi, this is Imran Hashmi, and you're watching me on inyouth.com. We have been saying that, you know, this is a film that is both for masses and the class. How do you elaborate on that? Uh, you know, there's a very, very clear divide in our country and this is the trickiest part of making a film uh, which works pan-India. Mm. Because when you cross over states, mm. there are different cultures, the different religions, the different dialects. Mm. So that is the predominant problem of Hindi films. Mm. Uh, it is a plus point also, mm -hmm. but also there's a hindrance because you're catering to a variety of tastes. Masses obviously like escapism, that they want to forget their problems and they want to forget themselves when they go for a two-hour film. They don't want to see a preachy film or uh, something that is, you know, is boring in nature. I think that there is a dearth of good roles for actresses. Uh, Rustam was really good role, it was really different. Mm -hmm. Commando was really different, again negative. This is really different, again, actually all my characters, whether it was Jannat or even Raz in that sense, uh, they've all been really different characters. Are you saying, does that mean that that, you know, there are regrets from the past. There are no regrets. Um, you know, you, you have to f first of all understand the reason behind doing a film. Mm. Either you're doing it for self-satisfaction, to, to fuel your creative energies and just attend to that creative aspect and be fulfilled by that. Or you go out there and do a film for your audience. Um, they're two very different things. So when I'm making a film which is any of these films, Murder or Raz, my sensibilities per se as an actor and creative person, I have to mold it, I have to work slightly harder to get into a film like that because I don't really generally consume films that way. Mm -hmm. um, when I do films like say Shanghai, yeah. that's more, it goes more with my sensibilities mm -hmm. in kind of cinema, but it's a very niche audience for that. Yeah. There are no regrets doing either or films. Mm -hmm. I think as a creative person, you have to be diverse, mm -hmm. you have to be versatile, you have to be able to pitch a film to an audience in Delhi, you should be able to pitch an audience to uh, to Mumbai mm -hmm. or any of the interiors in, in, in India. I want to step into production also so I can nurture these films and actually do the films that I've always wanted to do and dabble with different subjects and different story ideas. When we talk about it, you also say that there's this brilliant tag which is associated with the name Serial Kids of Hollywood. Do you take pride in that? I don't really give it a thought. Mm -hmm. uh, it's <clears throat> actually become a bit of a hindrance now. Mm -hmm. You know, in this film it probably works uh, in a way because he's kind of naughty, he's fun, he's flamboyant. Mm -hmm. uh, you see kind of things, kind of shades of that but it is going to become a more for hindrance because the next forthcoming films mm. uh, might not have any shade of that and then the media carrying that would just taint those films as something that they are not mm. so i think everyone has to be okay the media has to be okay to get done with it what is the most sexist question that has been asked to you you just asked that uh, actresses are only succumb to looking glamorous. Best advice you have given to your kid? I take advice from my kid. Yeah. yeah I don't so think. What is the best I advice? don't think adults should give any advice to kids. Mm -hmm. That they should learn from kids. Mm -hmm. You know the the happy state that kids are in. 24/7, mm -hmm. 365 days a year. I think uh, adults should learn from that because we're constantly in this. You know, this burden of life after a certain age. I think that's what we should actually learn from kids. So I learn from him, I don't imbibe anything. Uh, what is the best memory associated with Im Imran? Not just about show, but anything. Oh, my first film itself. Uh, I was, I mean, you know, you hear from all the makeup artists and hairstylists and your team, stylists and all that, you know, how actors are. Uh, I mean, not actors, but you know, usually when it's your clothes or something, uh, you know, uh, you have to be prepared that the assistant directors, they're going to read it from a paper and they read really badly. Mm -hmm. And I was prepared for that and the assistant actually stood and read really badly and Imran, it's not that Imran wasn't there, Imran just turned around after his shot was done and he just stood there like this is a camera and he just stood there and he was giving me the dialogue and I was and no but I still remember because if I was looking at Im Imran and I was acting to him like I was looking at him so it just helped me a lot um, you know because at least I'm reacting to him. And that's the best for me, that's a movie you will never yeah. I would fall in love with me. Uh, oh you yeah. Oh this, this, yeah. okay, alright. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.